We see so many games released every day that it's impossible to check out every single one. So that's why I'm here. I'm that Indie Games Guy, and we'll be taking a look over some hidden gems that you might have missed last month. These might be games that are fantastic, but not many people have spotted them, like this channel. So I say we deep dive into 12 hidden gems that we might have missed. Let me know in the comments below if you've played any of these games and let the show begin. Starting off the list of hidden gems from last week, we have Spiritfall, who managed to complete early access and the full 1.0 release has successfully been added to Steam. The game is an action-packed roguelike that's taken a lot of inspiration from platform fighters when it comes to combat, so think Super Smash Bros, but without the bros. You'll need to define your run as you get to choose what will synergize with your current build as you're offered different blessings as the game goes on. If you succeed, then you'll be seen as a champion, but if you fail, just know that death isn't forever. You'll be reawoken and have the opportunity to use the resources you've found in your previous life to make the current you stronger. Spiritfall has slowly been becoming one of the must-play roguelikes over the past year, and I can completely see why. The combat seems so clean and crisp, which for me is one of the best parts of a Metrovania. The game still has a lot more to come over the next few months, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. Next up on the list, we have another game that has made it to its 1.0 build, and one that I've wanted to play for a long while. This is Secrets of Grindia, an old school RPG that allows you and your friends to party up as you go adventuring around this magical world in search for the land's most famous and lost treasures. This game is massive. This pulls me right back into playing Final Fantasy on my PlayStation 1, as you'll get to discover hidden lands with those secret bosses within them. That's what I love when I see an RPG. You can just sink so many hours into those games just by exploring. If you want to take a step back from the story, they have somewhat added a Stardew Valley area where you can build a house, tend to crops and just relax and don't have to think about fighting or treasure. Secrets of Grindia has been in early access for 9 years. That is so crazy to me that they've been able to continue development all this time and produce a stunning, unique experience for all of us to cherish. I'll be asking my friends if they want to journey along with me on this adventure. Have you ever wanted to play as the bad guys for a change and actually run the dungeons the heroes charge in and attack? Well, now you can, in Keeper RL. This is a dungeon simulator with roguelike elements that will make each and every version of your dungeon different. You'll play as an evil wizard who has been studying in the arts of black magic to be the evilest wizard around. You'll need to slowly build your dungeon from a small base to end boss level as you equip your minions with weapons and send them out in the overworld to plunder towns and kill any innocent civilians they see. I did say you were the bad guy, remember? You'll get to control the evil wizard in the dungeon as you build into the mountain to expand, and then switch over to your minions when attacking, which plays more like a traditional roguelike. Keeper RL has been released out of early access, and with this update, they've made it even bigger. Bigger maps, bigger abilities, and even bigger minions, and a bunch of other additions to the game. This is the best time to jump in and give being the bad guy a try for a change. I'm sure everyone who loves playing The Sims loves making dream homes for all the families that they control. It's just a relaxing environment where you scroll through the different wallpapers and floorings before deciding on the vibe for your house. Well, this brings me on to this new game. This is Vivaland Dream House, a standalone prequel to the upcoming game Vivaland. Vivaland Dream House allows you to create, as you would probably guess, your dream house. You'll be able to experience the world of Vivaland before the official release, with 8 different plots to choose from. You'll be able to get an understanding of where you'll want to build your home in the main game. And this isn't just your typical, here's an item, put it down and off you go. I love the fact that you'll be able to resize the item in hand, as sometimes you just want something bigger to cover more of the area. 
Vivaland Dream House will allow you to build with up to seven friends at the same time. That means you can put all your creative minds together to create the house of wonders that you'll all be able to live in. This game is giving me a strange mix of Don't Starve in the art style and Bear and Breakfast in the overall theme of the game. Mush them both together and you get Camp Canyon Wood, a stunning hand-drawn life sim where you'll need to build and manage a summer camp where you'll have encounters of the third kind. As the counsellor of the newly formed camp, you'll need to guide all these young nuggets to get their badges in different fields, whilst trying to keep everything calm and relaxing. As you would imagine as an outdoors camp, you'll encounter dangers lurking in the shadows. Beware of the bears, sneak past the snakes, and well, just try not to be abducted by aliens. Just standard stuff really. It's your job to keep the little ones safe. Be sure you do, or you'll find the camp closing before it even really got started. Camp Canyonwood is a fantastic addition to the building management games list. This will be perfect if you enjoy renovating old rundown campsites and trying to make as much money as possible off the parents of the kids at camp. Being a pirate captain would not have been easy having to manage all those people and sailing the seven seas in search for treasure. Talk about hard work. Now, imagine they were all cursed as well. Might as well have just stayed at home, really. This is Cursed Crew, a survival strategy game that is all about surviving at sea, as you travel the seas in search for a cure. As the captain, you'll be the one responsible to ensure the happiness and safety of your crew. Make sure you have enough supplies to get to your next destination, Ensure the ship is well equipped with enough people to man all areas and when all hell breaks loose in a fight, you're the one leading everyone to Davy Jones' locker. Cursed Crew has been released into early access with more than enough features to enjoy the game at the moment, with lots more to come in the future. Now back to work you landlubbers, we have a kraken to catch. Welcome to the world of minigames. I remember when I first picked up the WarioWare game and loved playing just random games with the purpose of trying to remember how each one worked and then slowly getting faster and better at them. That game came out years ago with new games being released within the series. But we have something a little different now and its main character is a frog. Yes, this is Slippy the Frog and they've brought a bunch of mini games for you to play. This is an adorable adventure that's bound to make you laugh and smile. Slippy is here to bring the fun to your gaming session, and these minigames will be fast and quirky as you progress through weird situations for a frog to be in. Slippy the Frog will be a game that you never knew you needed. Now slip that game into your basket and enjoy the world of this frog. We have yet another game that has been released out of its early access world, with The Witch of Fern Island. Now I remember talking about this game when it was first released into early access. A lot has been added and changed over that time and I can't wait to head into this magical world again to explore the new areas and all the new additions. You've crash landed on an island that's full of potential and as a young witch it's down to you to learn and make the most of the situation by applying what you've learned to ensure the island can thrive once again. Fly around the island on your broom, meet the locals as you make new friends and see the friendships blossom and so much more. The Witch of Fern Island is perfect for the cosy gamer, who wants to enjoy the grind of fixing the island, and seeing the finished product once you've farmed, cleaned and learned all the magic you can along the way. Up next we have a game which is completely free, and is absolutely fantastic. This is Rabbit Hole, a 2D side-scrolling shooter that will make you fall in love with the genre again, and the way I see it, when a game this good hits the market for absolutely nothing, bigger games really should lower their price, as not everyone has to pay £30 to play a great game. Rabbit Hole is all about Disc, the character you'll be playing with in the game, who's been pulled down the rabbit hole in a very Alice in Wonderland reference and has to fight to the death as you climb down the dungeon-like area to find your heart again. You'll be able to find lots of different guns along the way, to help you fight whatever monsters lurk in these areas. The game will definitely be worth your time, 
It's free and the reviews all rave about how much time you can put into the game. So why not go give it a whirl? Following on, we have a game that is all about punching, destroying and just being a menace to the food industry. This is Bolton Punch, a first person beat em up where hordes of robots are trying to get you and turn you into canned food. Your play is Lyft, the last human working in the food production factory. When all the robot workers decide to attack you, there is only one thing really for you to do, and that's punch. You'll need to travel through the factory, fighting whatever kind of robot wants to pack you, spice you, or fill at you. Learn new combos to smash them into pieces as you try to figure out why you're being attacked in the first place. Ball and punch is free, no money needed for these hooks and jabs. So if you're fancying a new game that's all about throwing hands, you'll know what to do and add this one to your library. Combining two different game genres together to make a new one is always a risk. The next game we have has taken part of the formula of vampire survivors and your more traditional roguelikes. This is Spell Disc, a game that's all about mixing and matching spells to become the most powerful caster the world has ever known. You'll need to pick from hundreds of different of spells and discs to try and make the most powerful spell possible. It's basically trial and error and that's part of the fun. Not every run will be a victory and you'll be able to mix things up to see what actually works. Run around and fight hordes of monsters trying to get you in the vampire survivors esque mode and then you'll be able to head to the shop, look for upgrades and fight bosses in your traditional roguelike areas. Spell Disc is a game for the lovers of random runs and crazy over the top action. A must if you want to make insane spells that looks like your screen is ready to explode. And now we move on to the final game on the list. This is Sanya, a beautiful story about the fleeting memories of someone's childhood. You'll play as Sanya, a small boy who lives in a small town in the 90s. You'll be able to explore and interact with everyone to make memories you'll never forget. Whilst the game might be about being a child again, it will invoke strong emotions from within you. The game is set within a post-Soviet poverty-struck town. Somewhere that will make you question why this ever happened, and how these people were able to smile even after all this destruction. Sanya will be pulling on your heartstrings as you travel around and find the happiness among the sadness. Make new friends, you get to pet the dog, and try to resolve issues that seem like the end of the world. Sanya will be the perfect point and click adventure you never knew you needed. And that there marks the end of our list. Let me know down in the comments if you found any hidden gems that you'll be playing. And most of all, have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye!